Cossack officials wanted to take an equity stake in Westinghouse, which is a U.S. company that works in the civilian nuclear field. When you have a, a sensitive industry like Westinghouse is involved in the nuclear industry, that requires review um, by the U.S. government. So the potential investors came to America to see the man who could make things happen. Frank Juster arranged um, for Casa de Prom officials to go to Bill Clinton's house in Chappaqua. When I first contacted both the Clinton uh, Foundation, Mr. Clinton's spokesman, and Mr. Joustra, they denied any such meeting ever took place. And then when we told them, well, we'd already talked to uh, the head of Casa de Prom, who not only told us all about the meeting, but actually has a picture of him and Bill at the home in, in, in Chappaqua, you know, and that he proudly displayed in the office wall, uh, they then uh, acknowledged that, yes, the meeting had taken place. So what happened to Joustra's company that benefited from that deal in Kazakhstan? After a merger, it became a uranium giant called Uranium One. And then the Russians bought it. Uranium One became very active in acquiring uranium assets actually in the United States itself. By 2008, 2009, they were a particularly attractive target for the Russian government. And the Russians acquired that target. They would acquire would amount to 50% of projected uranium output by 2015. In other words, Russia now controls what was projected to be up to half of America's